hello. Um, wow, the far. We're back on Ruin Who, if you can even um, see yeah. us. Uh -huh. We don't need our feet. Um, and, and please, introduce yourself. You have a big thing going on right now. Yes, hi. My name is Mike Strozier, and I'm the uh, playwright. I wrote a, a play called La Revolution. It's about the Mexican Revolution. And uh, it has a cast of about 18 actors that with songs from, from the revolution uh, and uh, dance, elaborate dances, flamingo dancer. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's a, you know, a study of the whole history of the event. It's like an epic love story. And when did the revolution begin? Actually, the November 20th is the 100th anniversary of the Mexican Revolution. So our play runs the 15th to the 21st. So of course we have a show on the 20th. Wow, Saturday. and where is the show? It's at the Producers Club on uh, 358 West 44th Street. Uh, by that's, that's like Viva la Revolution. That's like practically yeah. Broadway, isn't it? Uh, well, it's off Broadway. Yeah, <laughs> but it's very close. It to, is close. To time for, yeah. it's, it's very close to the main um, shinding of theater in New York City. That's right. So, um, tell me, um, how did this? Where, where, why did you write about the Mexican? Are you Mexican? No. Like, what made you do this? Uh, well. Let me do it. It's uh, probably too long for this uh, brief show. It's three it three sentences. Three sentences. Uh, I was inspired by the history and the story uh, that a lot of Americans don't really know anything about. It's a very kind of romantic, uh, dramatic story. Can you synopsis the story? Well, there's, like, there's a lot of uh, uh, betrayal and backstabbing and, um, you know, uh, uh, overthrowing the government and all these, like, radical revolutionary things. So it just... I guess maybe partly because of the times we were living in, uh, you know, with our previous president. <laughs> you know, I just was like, you know, viva la revolution, and let's, uh, let's overthrow the government. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I just thought Mexico, do you watch Mexico actually did it, so I'm like, you know, hey, you know, this is pretty cool. These people don't mess around. Do you watch Weeds? No, I don't, I don't really watch TV too much. I'm that's, too busy writing. That's good. And and um and on your left, who's this young man? I think you should share this mic, it sounds better. Hey, I'm Johnny Rand from Cast of the Revolution. And who do you play in the in the show? Maybe you can slide it in. I'm playing Colonel Felipe Annalise. Colonel Felipe Annalise? Oh, you never heard Hablo of Espanol? You never heard of Hablo Espanol? Yeah, yeah. Is any of it in Spanish? Uh, the song. Yeah, yeah the, La Cucaracha. Oh, I love that yeah. song. You know, the song is actually about smoking pot. That's right. Oh, you know, good. Like shipping power. Excellent. Yeah, drinking Tennessee. Fancy Speaking about pot. weeds, I mean, in Mexico. No, it's very um, Wow, La Cucaracha? Yeah. Oh, they're talking about the roach? Yeah. That, um, who's the colonel that was? General Huerta would smoke uh, marijuana every day and drink Hennessy, and so they would make fun of him. You know, they wrote that song. What year was that? 1910, 1911. Okay, so he wasn't an original Rastafarian, but you know, he sounds like he could have belong in Jamaica, Mexico, yeah. Jamaica. I love that. Mexico is like one of my favorite places on the planet, actually. Have you yeah, been? I would love to go. No. You've never been? I'd love to. No. My only knowledge of Mexico before this was the New Ramsa and Concrete Block song, Mexican Moon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mexican Moon. Yeah. You're an interesting you person. Like, yeah? Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I think right. Ask your question. I actually think you could be part extraterrestrial. Really? Oh, and, thank you, know, you. This is not That's just, great. believe me when I say these things. Oh, great. Thank you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, it means he's highly evolved. So he's got... He, there's a part of him that's a machine. It's a, an intelligence machine, like a computer chip. All right, okay, go on. Ah. Thank you, Boo. Thank you. So um, what else do you want to talk about your play about? Uh, well, it's just, uh, it's, you know, it's a, a love story. And um, I think that the, uh, the, the story of, the, of, of a poet, a revolutionary poet, and his, uh, his spy, this woman who's like a spy from Germany, uh, you know, that goes throughout the whole story, and I, I, I think that the, it's so passionate and powerful that I mean, when you hear it all the way through, you know, it's you know, it brings a tear to your eye. It's a very dramatic love story. Uh, and again, just saying, how many days is it running? It runs on Monday through uh, Sunday, 
every day, 7 o'clock, Sunday at 6 o'clock. What's at the date? The 15th through the 21st. So next, November. Yes. And have you been selling free tickets? Oh, right. It's at um, uh, theatermania.com and also my theater company, uh, La Muse for Now. Uh, dot org. www. Dot org. That sounds pretty funny. That's after the show. Oh, I'm after that. the Hennessy and the marijuana. Did you hear what he said? That's after the show. I'm hosting that. Oh, oh yeah. really? Oh, the alien is hosting the yeah. orgy. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to segue good into that one. Um, today, on when you come on the show, Ruin Who, we have a little segment called Skeletons in the Closet. Yeah. So, would you please share a skeleton from your closet with me, and then um, you will be rewarded. Wow, skeletons? Just read my memoir. Um, no, you have to share one verbally. I'm not reading. Uh, when I, okay, you want one? It's in my memoir. You can read it. It's called The Labyrinth. When I was 16, uh, I lost my mind and went to a mental hospital for a year. I was oh, diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenic. And um, what oh, happened? How's that? That's pretty cool. I can emphasize to that, actually, on your turn. Wait, wait, wait. But today, um, it really is. It is National uh, Vanilla Cupcake Day. Oh, so when you share a skeleton with me, cupcakes. you get a... Um, it, it is. It's National Vanilla Cupcake Day. And since you shared the first skeleton. Well, what's your skeleton, John? Um, there you go. I don't know. Happy birthday, oh, Brittany Murphy. I know they're alive. He wants I have experience similar to Mike. Oh, no, 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 no. That was Get his. Get me out of here. After one of the days, I kept thinking around all the human beings all day. Caden, watching the Well, what made you go in there? What'd you do? Uh-huh. Major depression. Oh, well, that, we don't need something like that. Tell us uh, a funny, uh, a funny uh, skeleton for me. Give us a good life. one. Uh, like Blondie's on your shirt. Did you ever meet Blondie? Yeah. I met Debbie about 20 times. Uh, okay, yeah. and what was the best yeah. time that you met Debbie? Um, I think the time when I said, oh, can you sign this really quick? And she said, oh, I gotta get home to my door. She has this really cute door. She said, I said, oh, okay, thank you, sweetie. And I blew a thank kiss you, to her. Sweetie. Yeah. Aww. And one time she was doing a play. He said, thank you, sweetie. Yeah, she was doing a, a play. Kiss. And she was in on the soundtrack of a film, Fergie's Last Call. I said, oh, she shivering out the call. I said, Debbie, could you show me this? Yeah, call. yeah, yeah. And she said, I don't even remember the song or movie. Haven't I met you somewhere before? <laughs> Is what she really said. No, no, no. Oh, you're so big and strong. No, she Protective. never acknowledged that she's that. <laughs> no. All right, you get it. You know, he gets a cupcake. Yeah. Oh, All right. So, um, any last shout outs? What what other things would you like to say about the film website? How do people find you? Everything? Uh, well, it's just uh, www.lamusevenale.org. And uh, there's a link to buy the tickets and videos. We were on TV already. Um, and but you don't watch TV, so you didn't see it, right? I didn't, that's right. Well, uh, MNN, you know, the public access. Yeah. So, um, I think it's a very compelling Wait, story. what was on Eminem? Actually, there's a Ruin Who episode going on um, a couple times the next week, November 17th at midnight is the um, is the little viewing. When Do you have yours repeating on Eminem? Well, that was on last night at 11.30 uh, on uh, one of the actors in the cast has his own show. So we, we had a whole, we played the music, we played uh, the songs of the revolution, you know, because the, the, the Mexican people wrote songs about the revolution. Uh, of that era, so it's all like 100% accurate. So you know, it's, if you want to like totally immerse yourself in this this story and this culture that probably nobody has any knowledge about, this is the place. Awesome, I love it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Right. We will be right back. What would oh, you want? To say, uh, Shout out, uh, Lindsay. Yeah, Lindsay. Lindsay, we love you, Lindsay. Come on at five, right? Yeah. yeah. And you too. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you so much. No. Thanks for coming on. John Rand, Mike. Uh, so let me see. Wait, what's the word? La, la Muse Vanel. Viva la revolution. Dot O-R-G, not O-R-G. Spell La Muse. L-A-M-U-S-E V-E-N-A-L-E. La Muse Vanelli. Dot O-R-G. Cool. We'll be back, bro.
Hill, November 10th, 2010. See you at the show.